We are at script number five of our project. We are almost done. We have all the data. We just need to format it right. So, so far we have got the 2300 triplets, 100 farms, 23 images. We know at what each day at each farm, what was the NDVI values. Now we need to group them so that uh, we have one row per farm and we have 23 columns, one for each state. So to do this, there is a, a, a function that is you know, widely used. You don't need to write it from scratch. You can just copy paste it. I'm going to explain what that function does. So this is a function which takes a table, which is a feature collection. It takes a row and a column ID. That means you are able to take the feature collection and format it in a way where you can select one key or one property to be the row values, another property to be the column values. And for in our case, for example, if you want uh, the farms to be rows, so, so for each row, uh, we'll have one farm and then 23 columns for the images. You can have it the other way around where you can select the image ID as the row ID. And then for every image, we'll have 100 columns, one for each farm. So either way, you can reformat this table. And what this does, the first part is it just goes and does a join where it finds the ID for the row ID and uh, finds all the features which have the same row ID, groups them, and then the second part extracts the NDVI values and uh, sets them as properties. So let's just use this function. We'll just store this data uh, as say bar times CDs and we'll run this function. The table is our triplets the row ID we want are farm IDs. And this is whatever is it in your uh, triplet. So if you, there's a key, it should be a key in your triplets. Uh, here we have farm IDs as one of the keys. That will be the farm ID as one of the rows, a row for all the rows. And we have image ID as the column. And let's just print the first part, first element and see how this function reformats our output. Remember we took 2300 triplets and we turned them into something like this, where we have a farm ID and 23 values, one and the column headers are each of the dates. And then this is the NDVI value at those dates. So this is the way to format it. You can uh, change this order, give image ID and farm ID, and then you'll have for every image, you will have the different farm IDs and you can reformat the table in any way you want. So now we are ready to export. We have this data. We'll just make a few minor tweaks and then export the data in the next script.